Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Any of you guys having a BMW X3 and you're trying to find out how to test crankshaft position sensor, today video will explain everything from start to finish, guys. So uh, make sure you stay until the end, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, guys. As you know, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you now if you guys uh, if you guys have any other specific requests leave a comment below and we'll try to make a video when we have time if you need to buy any parts tools replacement crankshaft position sensor check out guys the links we'll share them in the description of the video below for your convenience so what we have here now this is n52 six cylinder gasoline engine but even if you have a four cylinder gasoline diesel six cylinder all of them will be about the same procedure guys and we'll explain how to do that on any any BMW X3 guys so uh, in our case on the six cylinder engine the crankshaft position sensor is located under the engine starter we have a complete replacement video guys that explains how to do that but this is the sensor itself now uh, right here guys okay let's explain what we have now this is the sensor itself uh, you have three wires that control the sensor why one is negative wire usually it will be black in color with uh, maybe white or blue uh, it's a thinner wire than the other ones. This is the black wire in the middle. Uh, we have one orange wire, which is actually a 12 volt ignition wire. The voltage in this wire will correspond to the voltage in your car battery. And then we have a yellow wire, which is a signal wire. In some cases, you may guys have different color wires and we'll find, uh, we'll, we'll show you how to find out which wire is the signal wire, which is, uh, uh, which is actually, uh, the ignition wire. So, uh, what we'll do, we'll remove the sensor guys. Let's go ahead and unplug that sensor now. And I'll show you how we're going to find out now. Okay, perfect. Just like that. So, now guys, let's explain, okay, what we are going to do here. This is guys, okay, the connector itself. We're going to go ahead and turn our ignition switch on where the lights on the dash are on. The engine is not running guys. Do not start it, do not crank. Just turn the ignition switch if you have a manual key to the second position. If you have a push start button, do not press your uh, brake pedal. That way you can have the dash lights on, okay, but the car is not running. Now the ignition switch is on guys where the dash lights are on this is the uh, wire now right here the connector we have the voltmeter set at 20 volts okay dc voltage we're going to put the black lead in the middle on the ground wire which is usually black in color okay hold it like that and now we are going to touch each of the other wires until we find the ignition wire which is 12 volts and the signal wire which is 5 volts right there this is 5 volts guys this is the signal wire that's the one we need and just to show you the other wire will be ignition wire which will correspond to the voltage in your battery 12.3 great so we are ready guys to continue now we are going to go ahead and plug the sensor in we are going to push it in the connector and we will show you how we are going to test it now. Not too complicated by the way. Perfect. Now, we are going to guys use the alligator clip right here, okay, to mount it to the wire that we peeled loose. If you don't want to peel it loose, there is a special device that you can clamp on it. We are going to connect the red lead to the, okay, yellow signal wire black lead will go on ground anywhere on the engine usually we scratch the alternator a little bit like that and you should get the reading on the voltmeter five volts now uh, this was the same like testing the negative here okay and the signal wire so if you get five about five volts you're ready to go get a big metal tool you guys and if i approach that thing it should read zero once i remove it it should go back to five check it out okay zero five zero five zero five so that's right there guys this is a good sensor if it's not moving if it's stuck at zero or five volts you have a bad sensor guys or it could be a bad wiring harness as well so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time